NBA player props here on Prize Picks for Friday, April 14th. Before I get started, there's a link in the description below to sign up for Prize Picks, or you guys can use promo code TUFF to sign up. Prize Picks will match 100% of your first deposit. Discord link in the description, Patreon link in the description. Again, I'm not a gambling expert. This is not financial advice. Simply just plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions. I got two plays here from the two plan games today uh, Chicago, Miami, OKC versus Minnesota. All the plan games so far have been pretty exciting. Pretty close, fun to watch here. So, should be a fun one here. Um, yeah, don't want to waste anyone's time. Let's just get right into it. The first one I'm targeting is going to be Jimmy Butler over 47 and a half fantasy. Um, Jimmy almost hit this line against Atlanta in the plan in the first play-in game, and in that game he shot pretty horribly, six for 19 from the field. Um, didn't make a three-pointer. Obviously, he doesn't make a ton of three-pointers, anyways. Um, but only had four rebounds, nine assists, two steals, a block. 21 points here but shot six for 19 from the field i mean he makes a couple more field goals it's a uh, pretty easily over in this matchup when he finished with like i said uh when he finished with um 45.3 but i think we just get playoff jimmy tonight right i'm kind of going with the gut feeling like we the miami he obviously needs jimmy to play extremely well you can see here his fantasy score averages over his last 10 games of the season not including the play-in game um, or I guess this does include the playing game where he had 45, 44.4 fantasy points is what he's averaging over the last 10 games here playing only 34 minutes. I think we can see him play close to 40 minutes tonight in a must win game. This is a must win game for both teams guys. So obviously both, um, stars of both teams are going to play a ton. Um, we take a look at Jimmy Butler's fantasy score game log last year in the playoffs, right? In a, in a must-win matchup against Boston last year at, on the road, he had 83.8 fantasy points. Um, in a similar game against Boston, he had 78.3 in two games in that series. Um, in a must-win game the, the against Atlanta, right, he had 69 fantasy points. So in two closeout games last season in the playoffs, he had 83.8 and 69 fantasy points in two of those closeout games last season in the playoffs. This is obviously a closeout game for Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. We take a look at Jimmy Butler's per fantasy points per minute. He's averaging 1.28 fantasy points per minute over his last five, but over his last 10, 1.3 fantasy points per minute. If we get 38 minutes from Jimmy Butler tonight, that should be able to cover his fantasy score line. Let's just do some quick math. If we see 38 times 1.3, that should be around 49 and a half fantasy points for Jimmy Butler. His line is at 47 and a half. Um, we can see here again, like playoffs, like I said, but even just take a look at his fantasy score game log this season at home. Pretty decent hit rate. I mean, we're looking at around half, a little bit more than half. He's hit this at home. One, two, three, four, wait, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 14 games of his last 25. He has hit the over on this um, at home as far as fantasy score game log. So you can see numerous times he has hit the over on this. So he obviously has the ability to hit the over on this. Um, but just Jimmy Miller, I think playoff Jimmy tonight, he is, he didn't miss, he didn't go to practice, which is weird. He was, uh, misses practice set to play Friday. He was absent from Thursday practice due to personal reasons, but expected to be available for Friday's play-in game. Um, he played 38 minutes in the play-in game against Atlanta. I definitely see him playing another 38 minutes tonight. I just think they need playoff Jimmy. I think they really need playoff Jimmy tonight. This is a gut feeling type of play as well. Um, but I like Jimmy over 47 and a half fantasy score in a must win game. And then the second play that I'm targeting from the second game of the night is going to be Josh Giddy over eight and a half rebounds uh, against Minnesota. Now, if you don't like rebounds, you could maybe pivot to rebounds plus assists, but I like his rebounds here um, for Josh Giddy. I think honestly, Giddy rebounding against Minnesota this season. So his game lock this season playing 36 minutes, right? Which is probably what he's going to see tonight it has a strong hit rate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 of four, 10 of 13 games he has hit the over on this um as far as rebounds go he's faced minnesota three times this season and has hit or four times sorry and has hit this three of four times then he's you know did this all pretty much earlier in the season 13 12 11 rebounds and in those four games he averages 14 rebounding chances but if we take away that third that game where he only had uh where he only had uh two rebounds and he played 22 minutes right we take away that game like if we just go based on the, these games in December, right? Let's just do this. These games in December. Um, let's just take a look at his rebounding chances. If we take it, just eliminate those first two games, right? 15 and a half rebounding chances through two games, averaging 12 and at 0.5 rebounds through those two games. We take a look at Minnesota over the last 30 days, uh, allowing the fifth most rebounds to the shooting guard position. Right, Josh Giddy, and then again, like I said, just an extremely high hit rate when he plays a ton of minutes. He played 30, forty plus minutes um, in that first playoff game against New Orleans. 
I like Josh Giddy here um, to get over eight and a half rebounds in this matchup against Minnesota on the road. I think he plays, again, close to 40 minutes. Um, strong matchup. Jimmy Butler over 47 and a half fantasy. Josh Giddy over eight and a half rebounds. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these two plays. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.